a note on um, the source and journey by Catherine Ann Porter from her collection of stories of short stories um, old order but actually trying to look on the internet to find out more about them uh, they've been included in other collections which deservedly uh, won uh, the writer the Pulitzer Prize and the claim uh, Warren uh, Penn Warren uh, uh, has said that she is uh, with these stories uh, at the top level Mm, and indeed, it's it's mesmerizing. The characters are wonderful. The themes are powerful and thought-provoking. Uh, the plot keeps you reading. There's everything a reader can wish for. Um, wonderful. I have to repeat it. Uh, Sophia Jane, the main character, is also something like a role model. I, I don't have the name, it's the Ubermensch, uh, even if used derogatory sometimes. Uh, the Nietzsche term is mm, uh, criticized by some. And I don't know what's the Uber woman, the super human, super woman, but uh, she is. Uh, not Catwoman or one of those um, cartoon characters. Uh, she cannot jump into the sky, but she is near it. Uh, she is strong. She is powerful. She has grit. She has values. She's ethical. She, she, nearly perfect, come to think of it. I don't know what she looked like, but still uh, amazing, fabulous. Um, even if, and also because of the fact that she lived in a society in a day and age when women were far from the equal of men, there was segregation on sex, based on sex and race, and there's something to say about that too. Um, she, um, she, for instance, knows about the weaknesses, the frailties of her, of her husband. Uh, she seems to be, if not really totally lazy, at least inclined to uh, initiate a project and then abandon it. Uh, seems to think that people around him are just there uh, to wait and please him. And she, uh, almost tragically and dangerously, enters into um, enterprises uh, which fail and he nearly uh, pushes his family into starvation, famine. And indeed, if it wouldn't be for Sophia Jane who takes the reins after he dies, they would be dying of hunger, I guess. Like it is with her making all the effort and uh, fixing whatever can be fixed with all these um, children and uh, dependents on her. She has 11 children and her servant, initially her slave, but then her friend, uh, Nanny, she has 13. So they, at one time they talk about this, how children are bad these days. Uh, Nanny goes as far as to say they're worthless. Uh, and um, so she has all these people to take care of and they still are hungry. Uh, at one point, um, two of her sons, uh, at the age of about 10, uh, run away. And when brought back uh, and asked, they say, we wanted uh, to eat some sugar cane. Uh, they had a sugar cane plantation that, and in fact, the processing factory failed. And anyway, the conclusion is they were hungry. She realizes she's hungry, she cries, and after that, her whole attitude changes. Um, not that she was uh, a perfect woman, can be only a good mother. 
uh, and she discovered the benefits of motherhood, so to say, very early. Uh, initially, it was Nanny who took care of both her African-American children and the children of the masters. Uh, but when she was very sick, um, uh, uh, Sophia Jane uh, took care of her baby and the baby of, of Nanny. And so um, uh, she discovered the wonderful uh, joy of being a mother with that. Uh, up to then, Nanny would take better care of the white babies not her own uh, again the virtue the the value of this Sophia Jane uh, shows here as well she um, takes the same care she doesn't make any difference between her her child and was it Charlie the name and the the African-American boy who would become her favorite he would all only work in the house never in the fields and so on. And with Nanny, uh, even if it provoked outrage, she was uh, taken by by Sophia Jane to be her good friend, and even more, uh, revolting her relatives and other people. She included listed her on the uh, in the family Bible as a relative, and. As I said, this is uh, an extraordinary woman and a wonderful joy to read about her and all that happens there. Right. Great read.